table, which it would be usually 4v4 of you, but this is actually a 1v1, which means there's going to be a few different things here. Redneck, are you currently being... Okay, sorry, your camera was glitching out. I thought you were being hacked by the CIA. They didn't want you to come here to spread the truth. Now... Something's going on. Something's going on. Something's going, going, going on. on. Going on. It's the KGB. They're trying to defend Demon Mama. Now, the thing is, there's going to be a few differences in the in, in the rules. Um, the main difference is going to be that I don't need the notepad. There's only two of you, so you should be able to, you know, uh, Thank you. go on yourself. I don't hey, need to run names now. Raising here. hand seems you kind of pointless. Out. You're it's the amazing. next person Survive always to talk. Uh, when great. it comes to this, I'm going to try to be less hands-on, unless, of course, somebody does not be able to talk. The main time I will kind of jump up and get involved is Thank if so much, uh, somebody we'll um, is just yelling so much that the other person doesn't get to get involved. Um, when it will be. comes to banned language, due to the nature of this discussion, that is a rule that no longer applies for this discussion. There will not be banned words besides things that, are, of course, TOS and can get us banned. And the main reason is one of the things that, of course, has been part of the discourse and feud online was certain words that we use towards each other. So, of course, if you're talking about the words, then... You got to use the words to talk about them. Uh, of course, if it's something that is a slur, which would be the R word, uh, and of course, like things like the N word, which shouldn't come up for any reason, but if, if it for somehow did, of course, then that's TOS. We got to use abbreviations. Now, the topic for this to, obviously it's going to get into personal drama, but the topic for this is, is it the right or the left that is truly bigoted? I thought it was a very on-point question to try to launch the discussion. Since it's a 1v1, you will both get about three minutes to do an intro uh, on Ooh. this topic and, of course, the feud that you two have been having. Uh, Redneck, your camera keeps glitching out every once in a while. Um, I think it, it looks good right now, uh, but I, I think it'll be fine. So we're going to start on the left-hand side with Demon Mama. Or actually, red. Actually, I'll flip a coin. So I, that's probably the best way to do it. Who wants heads? Who wants tails? Ladies first. Ladies Wait. first. Ladies, lady, ladies first. I'm a, I'm a native Texan. I'm a Southerner. Ladies first. Okay, Demon Thought Mama. You want to take it then? Three minutes. Sure. Um. Yeah. This is an interesting question to me. Um. I I think that the answer is um quite quite clear. Um. But in case there's anyone who doubts whether the right or the left is more representative of bigotry in the United States today, I thought that I would um, give a couple of examples to start this all off with, uh, without getting into anything personal, although I'm sure we will get there eventually. The right wing of America is currently, and, and uh, one of the most intolerant groups that I can possibly think of um, in the globe. Um, even our own currently right-wing government, mind you, um, recognizes that right-wing terrorist groups um, are the most dangerous in the country, and it doesn't get much more bigoted or hateful than inflicting terror. The number one terrorist groups in the United States are largely white nationalist and white supremacist groups, which are firmly right-wing, and all have fallen in line behind our current right-wing president, Donald Trump. Donald Trump himself is, of course, a perfect example of the type of bigotry that we're talking about when we talk about um, how hate is pushed in this country. Donald Trump's admin has been responsible for targeting homeless trans people, teaching um, anti-trans religious groups how to spot a trans woman specifically. They have a weird fixation on trans women. Um, in, in, and, and then, of course, has gone even further than that. Um, by implementing a military ban on trans people for no other reason than who they were when they were born. That is about the most hardcore definition of bigotry that I can imagine. And again, this was done by executive order. Actually, that's even charitable. It was done by Twitter, which then led to an executive order by the current right-wing president of the United States of America. Bigotry is part and parcel with the American right-wing movement. And try as they might to try and pretend that, that it isn't the case. Again and again and again, America's right-wing um, mem party membership 
and representatives continually um, utilize, lean on, and sometimes gladly employ bigotry as a part of their political project. Um, just, I believe this was just yesterday, um, Rudy Giuliani, the official lawyer for the Donald Trump admin currently, called a witness to the stand who um, said, and, and of course said openly um, in front of the legislature, um, that all Chinese people look the same before dropping a dated Chinese slur, um, which to me is just disgusting. And the fact that no one in that room called her out on it. No one in that room said, hey, that is really messed up, especially in a time of unmatched um, Sinophobic or anti-Chinese sentiment. Um, it really is quite outrageous just how much hatred, hatred and bigotry we see come from the right. And this is something I'm subjected to all the time online personally. So it is something that's a little personal to me. My life is full of hate because of people whose ideologies tell them to hate me for who I am, not for anything else. And I've encountered this again and again and again on this show, whether it's people fixating on my gender, whether it's people fixating on the fact that I'm trans, whether it's people fixating on the fact that I'm a, you know, a chunky girl. No matter what, I find hatred coming firmly from the right wing over and over and over again. And quite frankly, me and many other people like me are tired of it. So we don't play nice with bigots anymore. And as it turns out, the bigots don't really like being fought back against. So I just got to say, um, the bigotry can get out, but the idea that the left and the right are at all even on the same level when it comes to bigotry is patently absurd. Bigotry is baked in to the American right wing in the modern day. So there we are. And that's all I have to say on that for now. Okay, uh, Redneck, you have three minutes. Three, three minutes to do what? Three minutes uh, to counter all the bullshit? All that can, bullshit? You can, well, it's just oh, your there intro, we go. and then Good you're going to go into a broader discussion. It's just, uh, the intro is so you have a period of time where you can't be interrupted, and you can say yeah, what you can. I, I just, I mean. Say whatever, you can do whatever with it. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I, I don't, I, I've Thank only you. been doing this a few months, and. And, you know, I think I think that the projections I just got through hearing are blatantly obvious that come from left. The projection is amazing. When someone says something that you don't like, you get offended because you feel that it's oppressing. And so the lashing out is is it's it's phenomenal. When I did my intro, I truly did the intro and I said, I'm going to use a mirror. Everything you just said, everything you just said, look in a fucking mirror and say it. Look in a mirror because you're the one who says on your little bio on, Twi or on Twitter, um, love. You're, you, you use the words love mm -hmm. and, you, and you say you espouse hate. But you know what comes out of your mouth? You are literally the fucking Trump trans. Like that's what I see. I see someone that is a, an orange haired screaming like fucking Trump, Trump triggers left is that. That's what I see you trying to do to people that don't believe in you. And I'm not here to talk about Trump, what he's done for LGBTQ or not. I'm here to talk about how not a victim tonight. You were actually the one that instigated this bullshit. You made assumptions. You were bigoted. You were biased. And you were fucking flat, just blatantly wrong calling me out for something that you know nothing the fuck about. You don't know anything about me, but yet you banned me. You tried to get me canceled. You talked all that shit because your perception. Did I? So that's what this conversation is about tonight. This isn't about Trump. This is about your bitch ass. Ooh. There you go. There's my intro. So let's roll. Well, okay. You can roll into open discussion. Sure. I mean, that was really fast. I, I honestly, um, you know, I had, I had thought that it would last longer. I mean, I do find it a little bit ironic that right off the gate, you decide to, to, um, use the term bitch against a woman, you know, I mean, that's just, it doesn't really reinforce your position very well. But let me just, um, for those who may not know what Redneck is crying about at the moment. It's for you. It does for you. No, no, this is, this is for, wait, wait, Redneck, bitch. Redneck, I know, I know. But you I'm even trying said, to you said on your own stream, I am that bitch. Wait, wait, no, no, you did, didn't you? Well, but yeah, but, but me calling myself that is a little different from you, a, my opponent, who is also uh, an older white guy saying that in, a, in an attempt why? to discredit me. Why? 
Why? Wait. Is it different? You want equal opportunity, right? Wait. Everything's equal. Wait, but everything's it's... fucking equal, right? Everything's equal. Yes. Okay. Um, but but again, I, I'm like, I. You want to censor the words? You want to censor the perception? You want to censor the the con Go. You, that's what I'm saying. You're so quick to fucking just say no. You can't say that because why? You call yourself a bitch. So why can't I call you a bitch? Because I don't give you permission, and I gave myself permission. I mean, you can. You are legally allowed to call me a bitch. You just now told wait, wait, wait. me. Oh. You just now Am told me that I don't have permission to, to call you a bitch. So now I know. Already going to be the redneck show because I, it sounds like you're just wanting to talk to yourself. Oh, you roll. I know how you roll. You don't know. You don't know how. You I came roll. in hot on me on his last panel. You came in Excuse here me, saying that I am all, all about civil war. Oh, without wait a second. Without looking at the oh, my goodness. That is you're, damn well true. You're you're way way. I don't even know. I don't even think you've given the context. Does your audience or Dylan's audience even know what the fuck you're talking about at the moment? Because I don't think they do. But let me do it here. Give me a second to talk. If mm -hmm. I can oh, talk Dylan for about, so, about so what, I, I think uh, I think what I'll do is I don't want to give uh, a recreation of events. So what I'll do is you'll both get. A period of time to say from your perspective what you thought happened mm -hmm. and then so each people can get both perspectives because there's two sides to every story right we'll start with demon mama then we'll go over to redneck yeah you you will have about a minute and a half a appreciate that um yeah there's two sides to every story but this is a pretty simple story the first time i ever saw um redneck i didn't even know redneck was a creator um i didn't know who redneck was redneck came into my chat while I was doing a segment, um, mind you, specifically about how Trump's ICE was performing unapproved hysterectomies on um, wards of the state, imprisoned immigrants who were then subject to having their wombs removed, for those of you who don't know what a hysterectomy is. And I was attempting to talk about this, and Redneck came in screaming, Trump 2020. I very politely asked Trump, I asked Trump, sorry, asked Redneck, hey, could you please hold that for another segment? I'm going to be, we're talking about something very serious right now. I'm like, you can debate with me if you want to. He refused, continued to say Trump 2020, started to, to imply that I was a fascist for saying that I didn't want him derailing my segment when I was talking about something very serious. And then one of my mods banned him. Shortly afterwards, we discovered that he was indeed a creator, had a Twitter account, and was was on Twitter calling me a fascist for banning him from my chat after I politely asked him not to interrupt a very important issue that I was talking about. It was very polite. Um, many people in my chat will remember this. You can actually see the video. I have the video up. Um, and since then, there's been a couple of different incidents um, in which I've run into Redneck. That day, I happened to go to Redneck's profile to see what he was angry about, and all I had to do was scroll down one post to discover, oh, well, we've lost him already, but to discover that he was openly advocating in favor of a second civil war, which, you know, I don't know about all of you out in the audience, but to me, advocating for a second civil war is a pretty severe thing to do. Um, it seems like, um, it seems like the kind of thing somebody who is very hateful would do. Um, likewise, deliberately interrupting a segment by screaming Trump 2020 while I'm trying to talk about people having their wombs removed, um, is also something that I think that somebody who is very hateful would do. And those are things that you did. Um, after that, there was all kinds of other things that happened. I came in on Dylan's, um, election night coverage and, uh, Redneck decided to say something along the lines of what he said here before, um, you know, referring to me as the trans, a trans, very dehumanizing, that sort of thing. I, I find that very weird and uncomfortable, but, you know, p sort of par for the course. Um, but he also said, why are, uh, I believe the quote was, why are trans such bitches? And also, why are transes such cunts? And I have to wonder, is that not the definition of bigotry? You don't like me, sure. Talk shit about me if you want to. But why do you got to bring in all my other trans brothers, sisters, and non-binary? Why would you have to involve that? I Unless didn't. I, It was directly right at you. I'm it just saying. right at you. That's all. And then also, just, just keep in mind. It was right the fuck at you. You attacked me first. I have one last back. thing to bring up okay, here. Okay, Redneck, you will have as much time as you want to respond. I promise you'll get your own section. Then you can all dig into each other like it's a WWE. Yeah. Um, you the other thing I wanted to bring up with regard to this is our engagement on, um, on Twitter. At one point, I correctly and accurately said Redneck was the guy who advocated for a second civil war. He did do that. And then he responded by retweeting me and saying, you have a penis. And if for any of you who don't think that's the case, don't worry. I have some screenshots. And while that is indeed a factual statement, I, I do that. 
I do. Yes. It's true. There it is. Now you all know. I'm very open is. about this, by the way. But it's a little bit odd that someone would try to use wow. that as a comeback. Wow. Seems a little bit like you're trying you, to direct hatred in my direction, doesn't it? And in fact, that right. is what Hold happened. There we go. So we have okay. the admission here. I don't really think the topic needs to be continued. We've admitted the right is more hateful. You, a representative of the right on this panel, have openly admitted to wishing to direct hate towards me for being trans. That is why you would bring oh, out the, the status. oppression level. Okay. Here it comes. Here okay. it comes. Am the I wrong? Olympics. Let's Am I it. wrong? Yes, you're wait, okay. Yes, okay. bitch, wait. you're wrong. Okay. Bitch, okay. you're wrong. Bitch, you're wrong. Redneck, Redneck, you get to respond now. It's your turn. You're wrong. This bitch is so fucking delusional. The chain of events goes simple, real fucking simple. You literally had something from the day I came to the stream. If if you want to get the date, why don't you pull the stream up and let your people uh, later watch it in its full context? Gladly. You actually did go off when I asked a, when I asked a pure and simple question. You banned me, and I, and I thought, wow, the left sure is tolerant. They immediately banned somebody. Now even so if, much for the let's tolerant assume left. let's. Let's assume that let's assume that you were you were like you said just being sweet and kind and as nice as possible. Mm -hmm. You still banned me. I don't yeah. ban people for saying shit I don't like. If I ban people for saying shit I don't like, I'd ban the whole fucking world because I don't like anybody. It's fucking real simple. There's there's a very small circle. And when you take those shots, the personal shots that you took at me are the same shots that you feel I took at you. And that's where I'm saying it's a mirror. You're only going to get what you're putting out. You put out fucking hate. I have never, I have never before you ever had an issue with a transgender person or even had any negative connotations said to any other transgender. Go look through my tweet lines. I ask honest to God questions. I'm the one that's been asking, please no, define no, no, transgender no. for me because I don't believe in transgender. I believe there's a penis and I believe there's a vagina. I've learned that that's how y'all define the science. And then you have the social construct of what you call gender theory. But you know what I have, uh, which is this, which, which is something that's very intelligent when I think about it, is you're still basing your gender off of a scale of femininity and masculinity, which is still based off of two fucking things. You want to create this unicorn world where I'm special Watch because this. I feel I'm this. But when I ask you point blank and every other transgender, separate that logic from race. Separate it. Use race. You say transracial ain't a thing, but if you use and look at the logic of how you say things, physically, I'm born white. My skin's fucking white. Okay. I wasn't raised white. I was always, I didn't feel fucking white. I was raised by minorities in a minority area. So the way that you see me, that doesn't tell you who I am because, hey, I'm I'm a black lesbian. How about that? I identify as a black lesbian. Is that okay? I mean, you determine your rules of how you identify people. You've identified me as a bigot because I ask these kind of questions. And then you get told, oh, these spectrums, these are scientific facts. Scientific. I ask for the proof because if, if your science is uh, proof, then where's the limitations? Where do we stop? And my der derogatory comments were directed directly to you. They're still directly to you. I think you're a bitch. I really do. I think that you spew nothing but hate. And the, the day that you quit looking at all white people as bigots, racists, transphobes, and actually calling us out for it because that's what you project and feel is happening is the day that you might be able to see past and, and, and ask to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and actually ask somebody how they, you know, what they actually think. Well, I mean, damn, you had a lot there. And I'm honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about at this point. Cause you kind of went from thing to thing. I don't actually know what you're talking about anymore, but there were a few I, salient lines yeah, you do. in there. Uh, no, you do. I, I actually don't. You do. I don't. Actually. So break it down for me. You mean to break it down for you in one point at each? I mean, yeah, actually that would be super helpful. I think it would be helpful for the Let's audience go. too, because Let's the audience go. seems confused. Click on it. Let's go. Go ahead. Let's go. What? Uh, go ahead. Wait, what, wait, start with what the very first part. Wait, okay, we'll hold, hold on a second. Hold on. What are you actually talking about right now? I actually don't know what you're talking about. You, you are the person, the trans person I directed all of my comments to. Oh, okay. So that's the first thing we want to talk about then. That's actually not Number true. One. That's actually not true because I happen to that know, is true. I actually happen to know at least one other trans person um, who has been um, subjected to um, 
what I would consider quite hateful bullshit from you and a couple of your friends, um, uh, which is... Uh, to synth, me. I am not synth, answering for anybody else. Synth as well. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. It, it's not really so much about community so much as the company you keep, people who you run very closely with. And if you and your friends, like, I don't know. Like, to me, um, that sounds like if you and your friend were to beat somebody up with a bat, like both of you were hitting somebody with bats, I would consider you both to be together hurting somebody. And both of you have done that to myself and both of you have done that to uh, Synthied, who many people in this chat may know. And guess what? I would love, if you don't believe it, go ask Synth. Anybody here who doesn't believe that that that, that uh, Redneck and his buddy, CTV, haven't directed transphobic hate at the Synthied, go give her, go ask her. I'm sure she'd be quite comfortable with telling the truth about that because we all know the truth. And most of the trans do? people who've engaged with you know the truth. Yeah, you uh, they? you continually try and bring Do attention they? to our genitalia, which is incredibly fucking weird. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever experienced online. Is like, uh, I don't know how old you are. You like like fifty or sixty, like whatever age you are. Are we age age ageism? Here I, it comes. Keep wait, coming. There's no ageism. Uh, all the all that's not what that word just means. That's not what that word means. Yeah, I was making a guess. Doing. What's I'm, my age I'm, have I'm to do with sure. this? What does my age have okay. to do with it? Yeah, I was gonna ask how is it ageist, and I would like you know expand on it. Sure, ex expand on why it's ageist. Can why, you... What does my age have to do with anything? What do you, wait, what are you, what are you getting to? Wait, 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 you've called me the trans all night and you're going to get offended when I say, oh, you're like a 50-year-old guy on the internet? I didn't get offended. I'm at, you're a 50-year-old guy on the internet? What is the relevant? You're a 50-year-old What is wrong with a 50-year-old 50 50 guy, guy on the what internet? Is wrong? Wait, wait, right? can, you, can I finish a sentence or is this just going to be you just like crying as hard as you possibly can into the mic all night? Do you see? Do you see me crying? Yes, it looks like you're crying. Actually, do you see me crying? It sounds like you're crying too. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pale. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. There's okay, just like so much better. weird shit that you've said. Like the first thing is like, uh, it's really weird when um, like a a, a a dude on the internet goes around talking about people that he doesn't know's genitalia all the time, which you have done, even if it is absolutely true. And it How is, by times? the way. I'm extremely. How many times have I done that? At least two. Once. At least two. Well, name the name the other Already one did. time I did. And it's really easy because guess Who? what? Who? It guess what? Who? Wait, synth. You did it I to believe, synth. I believe she said synth. Yeah. Yep. I've already said synth? this. I know you're not listening. Uh, the, Who they're is also synth? known as the synthiad. You might know them by that. Don't know. I'm, I don't think I was ever on a panel with that yeah. person. Well, yes, you were. You were literally. You called her a bitch and a cunt. Sure? On the sure? wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You've, you come on, you really can't do this. Um, the the night that I was on, the night that you called us trans bitches and cunts, um, was me and Synth. You literally don't even know who you say this shit to. You're so hateful, and you spit out so much bigotry Wasn't that you don't. Wasn't that Mel? No, it was not Mel. Wasn't I know, I know, it's really hard. I know you probably can't tell trans people apart, but um, no, that wasn't Mel. That was Synth. That was Synth. I know. Well, I mean, it is it is hard, it is hard to tell trans people apart when. Like Damn. five times the amount Damn. of men are actually male. So I am looking at a bunch of men, uh, uh, especially a bunch of white men. That they're trying to be women and telling me they know what women's rights are. Like, really? So wait, this is your really? this is your take at this I mean, point? So do I need to say anything more? To, so this just goes, I'm just going to take a second and address no, the audience. You, the wait, 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 the listen, whole, you, had point, whole, you had your turn. You had your turn. You said no, your you thing. Bullshit. You said your bullshit. thing. The whole okay, point. Okay, okay, no. okay, okay. Well, this is what the I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and forth. The whole Give, give me a second. I'm going to let you go back and forth. Redneck, finish it, then Demon Mama. Okay, finish what you're trying to say. What's the whole point? The whole point is that I should be able to f freely speak any fucking way I want. Can. I don't have to agree with your sexuality. And you're the only person Not that the right I called word. straight up factual. You said I don't know shit about you. Yeah, you don't. I stated one factual thing about you that I knew. Yeah, you I didn't, didn't try to go personal with you. You called me a fucking couch warrior. I'm a fucking disabled veteran, so when you want to pull your oppression Olympics and we all are oppressed, I'm telling you, buck up, get some fucking skin. If you're such a fucking woman nowadays, if you're a liberated fucking woman, then be a liberated woman and take the equal heat that you dish. Because you dish shit talking and you got shit talking back. And I don't give a fuck if you're trans or not. You could fuck a zebra or sleep with a dog. I don't give a fuck who you sleep with, what you wear, what you dress like. And that has none of my concern. But if you can't take me talking shit to you the same way that I talk to somebody else and you think it's because you're a fucking trans, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I talk to anybody the way I fucking want. And if it means I talk shit to you or to Dylan or anybody, that's my choice. And you guys are sitting here saying that's fascist, that's bigoted. But I'm trying to explain to you, if you take that freedom away, because I'm saying 
fucking shit you don't like and you think it's fucking cringe and you think it's fucking horrible. Oh my God, Such this boomer question, is Vermin so hands. fucking cringe. He is saying shit that's so fucking hateful. I want him canceled. I want to stop this shit from happening because this is hate. Well, guess what, girlfriend? Your freedoms that you're fighting for right now are going to go right after that. Okay, that's it. Um, that's where I'm saying. Okay. You don't okay. even fucking so see it. I, I muted Demon Mama while, while you were saying your thing. I'm going to mute you and allow her to you say got her thing. All right, so um, we've had some classics roll out here. I, I, I seem to recall that the topic of this conversation was going to be whether the left or the right is more emblematic of bigotry. Um, I'll just have you know, like, like I don't know, saying that, like, oh, I don't give a shit if you fuck a guy, a girl, a zebra, a dog. That's literally, like, like literally classic homophobia. Like, just saying that, like, oh, it, and, and here's the funny thing. I don't even know where your persecution complex is coming from. Whoever said jack shit about, about silencing you, literally, all I've ever done is argued back at you. The only time you were ever silenced was when you were banned out of my personal chat, which I have rules for my chat. I have rules. Everyone is held to those rules. People have been banned out of my chat many times. That is what happens. If you interrupt me, if you do things that ruin the show for other people, yeah, you'll be out of there. Just like how, and I know you might be mad about this as well, just like how you can't take a shit in the middle of the floor of a restaurant without getting thrown out of the restaurant, Likewise, you can't take a shit in the middle of my chat while I'm trying to do something in the middle of a segment or anything like that. We have very simple rules, and I know maybe you don't believe in rules at all. Maybe you just believe that you should be able to throw shit all over the place. It certainly seems like what you're doing this discussion. Um, but I don't know. What you've, what you've said this entire time has been a litany of hate, and you can't even seem to decide if you think that I'm a... Uh, I mean, you literally just said a minute ago that you think that I'm a man, which I would think that's pretty categorically transphobia. I think that meets every definition that we possibly could have of transphobia. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it just seems really weird to me that you would try to come on here and make a case that you're not hateful when all that you've done this entire conversation has spewed out a litany of, of absolutely brain dead hatred that has nothing to do with, except with reality, except that your feelings are hurt. Your feelings are hurt because I happen to disagree with a take of yours or because you couldn't behave yourself in chat for long enough to wait we have conversations on my channel all the time with people of all different walks of life. But one of the rules of my channel is that, hey, when you're in chat, you got to be at least a little bit respectful to the other people that are in there, which you are not. Damn, you can't even be respectful to the mods on these panels. I think you've burned a bridge with damn near every person on this platform because of how childishly hateful and pathetic you are. So yeah, that's about all I have to say on that front. I don't really think that, like, it, it's really funny. Like, this entire conversation, you've just proven my point that most of the representatives of the right online and beyond are, rep are, are, are nothing but hateful children who just drop slurs and say stupid bullshit about the intrinsic traits. You never address ideas. You never address the ideas of anything I talk about. You literally just a minute ago said that I hate all white people or something. My beliefs couldn't be even, that couldn't be even further from the truth. You couldn't be further than the truth to try and characterize my viewpoint like that. But again, just like I said before, you don't know shit about me. And the only reason you even knew that I was trans is because I've talked about it. Because I bear my identity proudly. I am not afraid of who I am. I am not afraid of you. I am not afraid of the right wing. I am not afraid of these hateful, uh, obsolete motherfuckers who, if I have my way, will no longer be considered relevant at all in modern politics. Because you are taking our world in the wrong direction. You are turning us into an absolutely stupid mess of a world where people can't even talk to one another without being interrupted and bombarded by whiny, fragile men like yourself. Okay. Uh, I will unmute Redneck and we're gonna go back into open discussion and back and forth. You roasted me so bad. Oh my god. You know what True, the problem I did. is? Oh my god, that's that is. 
you're you're right. You roasted me so hard. You Wait, are you conceding right now? Because you, you should. You really should. I, I am. I, Wait, you should I give up right now. Redneck. I am literally. Redneck. Can I talk to you for one second? Can I just I? talk to you one? Should I? Yeah, you should. You should, should concede I? right now, and you should. Yeah, you should, please. You should take this L before it embarrasses you further. Because what you're doing right now is you are you throwing. See, you are throwing you a toddler-like tra do you tantrum. Think I fucking care. Do you know how many people no, are do watching? You think, do you really? I don't think you I care. Don't care. See, I'm just trying to warn you because I genuinely believe. There's a lot now, of people watching this right now, point. and you are literally so embarrassing yourself. So. Like you're probably embarrassing your family and your kids if you have any. Like oh, you should, you you're should really bring stop. My family, kids into it? Yeah, Look, this is bad here for it you. Comes. Here it comes. Yeah, I actually here do. I am actually why? concerned for you because why? you are why? ruining why your bad? reputation right bad? now live. Why? Why? I mean, you didn't have much. What reputation? Yeah, and I mean, true, true, true. What reputation? True. Here it comes. So what, what? So how am I? How am I ruining it by saying words that I should be free to speak? I should. Ha I should Wait, have you the are free to speak. To them. I'm just thoughts? also free to say that you're dumb for saying it. Like that's the problem. This is this is what it always comes down but to see, with you right wingers. See, no, that's what it always comes no. down to. You complain when when you say something stupid and hateful, and then somebody calls you a name or says that you're dumb or addresses your argument. You're like, I'm being oppressed. When in reality, what you're doing is making people's lives horrible. You vote for laws and support people who would ruin my life, and then you get mad when you say something stupid and someone else tells you. That it's stupid. You actually hate free speech because the funny thing that we're talking about here is I'm the free speech one here. You are the one who says stupid shit online all the time, and when I call you out, you cry oppression. Meanwhile, when I talk about oppression, I'm what? talking about. Hold on a second, I'm not done. When I talk about oppression, I talk about the fact that the guy oh, you wait, support. You gotta, hold, you wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Gotta, I'm not done yet. Do shit. I'm not done yet. Your guy, your you guy sure? who you, you oppress, sure? banned my you people. Sure? Banned my people. Trans people from the military. The military. You yeah. know why? No. You know why? Yeah, I know why. Because of hatred. That's why. Why? Yes, because of hatred. No, that is why. It was, it was okay. Have you served? That's the fucking question I asked. I can't you. serve. Served? Why? Because I've been banned from the military. You fucking dolt. I cannot serve because your candidate, the one why? that you and, and your right wing compatriots, hold on a second, I'm not done. You asked me a question. You want to know why I can't serve? Why I can't participate breathe, in this civil breathe, structure? Because breathe, you've banned me out of it. Breathe. Because you and You'll your supporters right. have. I, That's I why, you absolute fucking worm. That's why. Get your hate out. I'll be your counselor. I'll be your. Th therapist oh just get that hate out if I'll you want to talk white, about listen I'll be that white, i'm somebody listen i'm somebody wanted, here's the thing i'm on. somebody who believes no, no, bitch, we're gonna address this shit no no fuck you look you are no excuse me you're, it's your time to close your dick sucking lips okay it's time for you to close your dick sucking lips nice. and just listen to me for a minute i do love Before, dick it's true I, you know, I don't want to have to sit here and fuck. i know you do that's it's look it's amazing good. dick is great do you like dick like that right wait i have a question wait redneck do you like dick i like i like my dick wait wait do you like dick though do you use your lips to suck dick no. Have you no, ever? I'm not into that. Why? No, not ever. Why? I just, I don't know. I think dicks are ugly. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, maybe maybe you're just projecting. Maybe yeah, just no, your I mean, dick is ugly. I don't know. No, no. My dick is ugly. It's like a tuna can. Damn, sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that. I mean, yeah, but wait, see, was this supposed to be I like... Joke. I, I can Is this supposed to be this like... This a moment for me to give you a... This was a this was the moment I was trying to give you a breath and let you breathe before I say what I'm going to say. And you're in, in this whole tirade that you had about the bigotry and I need to take the L because I'm really embarrassing my yeah, family. Yeah, you really and should. I'm you should myself. back out as soon as possible. Okay. It would actually be a better well, look I'm for you to you jump to, out now. I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm actually telling you again to sh you shut the fuck up for a minute and let me keep ruining my life if I am because here's where the proof is. Sure. The fact that the cancel culture exists, the fact that you create this cancel culture that defines all of these identities and all of these oppression Olympics that you make everybody have to go through, that is in itself is what the problem is with all of us today not being able to communicate. You assume because I talk shit to somebody personally. I've never talked shit to anyone. You don't even fucking know if I have any transgender family members. You don't know if I have any fucking gay family members. You don't know I anything sure about my life. I sure hope not. I sure hope not. That would be a shame. Okay. So, again, you're projecting your thoughts and your feelings by the name and what you see. You don't even know where my name comes from. You don't even know that I've spent the past fucking six months, as soon as I started streaming, trying to learn about all these things because I'm considered a boomer, yet I'm actually a, a Gen Xer. You know, I am not that fucking old, but I am getting older. But, you know, I would like to stay in touch with what 
what my children and their generations are thinking about. And I love to learn and I love to fucking figure it out. But you know what happens on every fucking panel I've been on? Every panel is a leftist fucking panel. And as some, soon as someone from the right or someone that has any conservative take says anything, the words that come out of y'all's mouth, it's almost like a recording. And it's just like you said about the right. They have recording the same shit. Y'all got the same three jokes. Well, Thank guess you. what? We're idiots. We're dumb. We don't know shit. We're boomers. Um, we're, we're simps. We're, we're, I mean, you, you guys create categories of memes and fucking labels. And that label society doesn't mean fucking shit. I don't care about followers. I, I don't do this for fucking fans. I don't give a fuck. I'm here because I want to learn and, and, and be a part of something. And I also do this for mental health. I am a disabled veteran that has an anxiety disorder. So when I look at a transgender and I say, fuck this is bullshit. Y'all have 40 fucking percent of your population killing yourselves. And then you have 22 veterans a day killing themselves. I fucking can't stand that shit. But you wouldn't know that about me because you don't actually look at the shit that I do on the side of when I say shit you don't like. You only take and project the things that I say that you don't like. Oh my God, that's fucking cringe. I'm going to cancel him or fuck him. That's the bigotry I'm talking about that you say exists on the right that you're lashing out and doing on the left. It's, it's, it's what we face every fucking day. All of us face the same fucking oppressions. So my mirror comment is that right there. Take everything you say that I said and you've done the exact same fucking thing. That's what I'm telling you. Period. Don't and you, you don't ever it. fucking dare bring up suicide statistics about my trans brothers and sisters and fellow non-binary people to my face Why? because you don't Why? know do you because you don't know the is that first, a factual stat? because is no, that it a fucking actually. factual no stat it actually not? isn't oh, wait, you don't know wait, shit wait. about it you don't know okay. fucking shit about it that is not a factual wait. stat first of all first of all it's based on on age-old data and do you know what the result of that study was the result of that study was that it is people like yourself it is the hateful structures that we have in our society that make their life bad it is not us being trans it is not us being trans let's Let's it is not us die. being trans oh, that makes we'll us have a bad life. So, we'll pause you for a second. We'll pause, for a second. So we'll pause for a second. We'll pause for a second. Okay. So I want to now. I, 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 I said I was going to leave. It's fucking ridiculous. I, give dude. me a second. Give me a second here. I just want to because this is one thing where I actually think there's not a lot of bridges to build here. I'm going to be honest. So that's not my job today. Uh, but what I will say is for what I uh, I just wanted to see if if this is a miscommunication or 100 percent like you understand what each other's saying. Redneck, you said that, and then you followed it up by also talking about veteran suicide statistics. And when you were saying that these are bad things that you hate and yes. that you sympathize I want them fucking fixed. So how am I supposed to learn if I don't learn what it means to be transgender? If it's one of the things that I had no way of learning about until I came on, and then I started talking to transgenders. You don't even know that I have a full hour or even a two-hour interview with Simon when I first came on who actually shared with me her first – her story, the personal things that allowed me to ask questions, honest fucking questions. And then my joke question that I made on fucking Twitter to get you here about what do you call a bitch or a bastard, that was directly targeted to you. That wasn't directed to the whole transgender community. But as someone who talks shit, I want mental health awareness for every fucking body. So don't get that twisted. And the same way that you're offended to say, don't you dare talk about my brothers and sisters. Your brothers and sisters are also my brothers and sisters. They're a fucking family. Anyone that suffers you're from a, a liar. mental health disorder. You are a liar. And I am okay to call you a liar. Because here's the thing. Many, many people have attempted to engage with you in good faith. And in fact, when we, when I first came on, I didn't even, had barely even talked to you. I came on for election night, talking, hoping to talk about the election. And I came in to you talking about uh, trying to make comparisons about how trans people aren't valid because then everybody could just change race at a minute. You've never taken yes. time. Wait, no, no, no. I, it's my turn. You've had your time to spew yes. your hateful bullshit all over the place. And it's my turn to bring some facts into here because I agree, Dylan. I don't think there's any bridges to be built between somebody like this. Good but I'm job. hoping that there is bridges that can be built between people in the audience and people like myself, trans people, who, again, I will, re I will, re I will, you know, refresh your memory that we are banned from the military right now trans people experience unfathomable levels of, de of of verifiable objective discrimination in our society and 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 now you're trying to play all nice while you at the same time in your own sentences refer to trans people as a transgender the transgender you don't even call us people 
You won't even call us trans people. You just call us a transgender. You literally objectify us in your in your passive language. How much disdain you have for us and how absolutely the shallow same? and transparent the, the fact that you want to try and weaponize our own mental health to hurt us is unfathomable to me and it's frankly disgusting do you realize what you do you realize what you just I said i was not finished you, you i'm really, not finished with you yeah, you, you had your time dylan you with all due respect done. with you all due respect I, I, you didn't he know, had i didn't interrupt for a long time bullshit. and he got to talk you, because May you have, have nothing to say other than fucking okay, hate okay, okay, i said i care about all mental health i care about all fucking mental health and you say that's a lie yes go to every fucking stream go to every one of my fucking streams right now tell your tell your followers and everybody no i will not youtube or my twitter I will right not now, tell people to I'm come watch your stream because I don't think people should watch your stream. Okay, 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 look, 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 I understand. Just look you, at you the description in every... Give me a moment, hang on, give me a moment, give me a moment. I don't understand, let me make I understand, but I'm the moderator. I'm going to let you make the point, but I'm the moderator. When I speak this is up, outrageous. I'm doing it because multiple people are talking at the same time. Audience cannot hear you if two people talk at the same time. Redneck, uh, make, finish your point <laughs> about mental health. My hands are in the air. I'm not touching anything. Just go look at the titles and the description of every one of my fucking videos for the past months. Just right now. And tell me if it doesn't have mental health. And if it doesn't talk about it. If it doesn't say if you are suffering from any of these things. So fuck you. I mean, you've made... I, that is one thing. I, I suffer from it. I fucking suffer from an anxiety disorder. And you want to talk about your bullshit? You know goddamn well that the transgender community... The trans people, whoever or however you want me to describe it, suffer from mental illnesses just as bad. There is a high rate of mental illnesses inside the trans community. They can be, they can be caused by the environmental effects. I understand that. I'm not denying that there's fucking dickheads out there that talk shit. But if you are telling me that words, that the words that are spoken on Twitch, Twitter, and all of these things are what actually hurt you, then I'm telling you, you, you need to look at how I was responded to by just those tweets because I did those to get all of that hate so I could actually say, go look at your own timeline and all the replies to that tweet and see how much hate came from your side. Nobody's ever sent anything from my side to you that showed hate that you say I'm associated with. Me and CTV, I, I've never tweeted to you of something hateful. You guys literally go against everything you claim that you're not doing, and I'm trying to tell you I am doing this to give you a mirror. I am you right now looking at you treating you the same way that you treat everybody else and you don't see it and i'm willing to stand here and i'll continue to stand here and do it well um with all due respect i strongly disagree with your incoherent characterization of these events you are the type of person that causes harm the way that you're willing to direct hatred by 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 trying to point out people's genitals online you think that's supporting people with mental health Only i don't wait a second i'm not done you. oh my dear you god you said i don't know jack shit but I don't, but don't I can't even get a word in edge with all Own due respect. The fucking comment. With all due respect, I can't even Own get a word in edgewise this entire don't conversation. Put it on else. Sure you can. No, I You're really a haven't. Woman. Go for it. Here's the thing. Um, there's a couple of ways that I can approach this. First of all, let me just set the record straight on this. Um suicide rate in the trans community is 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 shockingly high and the reason for that is because at every single possible corner we are met with hostile people who do not try to understand us people like yourself you in public decided to bring attention to my genitals on in in public using your public pr pressure and you don't and you don't think you think that you're some kind of champion you for mental my health? mental health you, you are absolutely absurd you, you i never said service. once uh, you brought my you said i was a couch warrior you are a couch warrior a you absolutely are a couch warrior. do you know I'm what a couch warrior is redneck i know you're offended well, let's, let's, i know you're let's offended stop, let's stop for a second because this is something that i was i was i was told about a lot by redneck um so i would like to actually like get because this is actually a big sticking point that we haven't talked about yet so let's move to this the term couch warrior um, uh, what, what does that, what, what, when you use that, what did you mean to do, uh, Demon Mama? Wait, the term couch warrior generally refers to somebody who sits on the sidelines and complains about other people and says all kinds of big things while not actually being will willing to actually put up. That's what I think. And I think that the definition of somebody who sits online spewing hateful rhetoric and saying that he does something while actually doing the opposite of that is the absolute definition of that. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to twist it into, but... Uh, let's just say that I don't really think that we need to, you, I don't even think we need anything. To a service I don't no, no, think no, no, we need, we oh my God, because I can't even, reply. I literally up. can't no, even have an opportunity though. to reply. He is asked, this a conversation? Dylan, Dylan well, with would, all due respect, it, this Dylan, is like it, the fourth it, or it fifth time and I'm actually it is, starting. I, it is a conversation. I understand that. 
right? It's just two people and not four. So I thought I could be more hands off. Obviously, with the topic matter, I can't. So this is what I'm going to do. And I, this is what I do. I'm going to do this every once in a while when it gets too rowdy. One talks, then other talks. Um, um, so you were trying to say what you believe a couch warrior was. You got to say that, right? I mean, yeah, and, but there's already been like 15 things that he said that I have not had a single opportunity to reply to. He said he brought up trans suicide statistics. Like, this is ridiculous. The 40%—wait yeah, a minute, okay. Dylan, Dylan, you should know better than this. You know that 40%—with all due respect, well, let me have a second, I'm, please. Please. Well, well, well Demon Mama. My one, goodness. One, I don't comment on the validity or not validity of people's comments during if somebody says something that isn't correct i don't jump in and jump down everybody's throat i'm not asking you to do that but now, i am asking you to give me space to respond to it i will i will if, if you if you keep talking to me like this is how, this is how that can happen so what we're going to do is redneck's going to respond about the couch warrior and then we're going to go straight into the suicide statistics of absolutely thing absolutely to talk about okay okay Redneck. I'm actually I'm actually stories. a little pissed at Dylan on for, this. For for Demon Mama's context, when she says that she, she felt a couch warrior was just somebody that sits there and just talks shit online and spews hate, yep. I understand that one. Okay, I got that. But in the veteran community, those of us that have served, and especially those of us that have served in combat arms and or have been in combat or haven't been in combat, that same thing is referred to negatively as a negative tone. So it's 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 got as for a veteran. It it, it does. It's and you don't, if you don't believe me, you can ask other veterans. If you call a veteran, especially a service connected disabled veteran, a couch warrior, you're derogatorily telling them that their service didn't matter, and that has the same amount of trauma and and things affect uh, uh, associated with it. So that's how I took it, not knowing you meant it that way. So that is now one of the great points. I'm glad that we could calmly talk about that shows. That was why I came back at you the way I did, because I felt you were projecting the exact same hate that you say you felt projected. And that's the mirror. That's the only reason I brought up your genitalia, because I felt you were attacking me, because you literally replied to a comment where I said, D I served my country, did you? And you said, you don't know jack shit about me, couch warrior. So me already telling you I'm a service-connected disabled veteran and served my country and asked you if you had, and then that's what you replied with, that's why I took it that way. If you're saying you didn't mean it that way and you're willing to tell me that right now, then I will apologize for bringing up your genitalia and stand up and be a man about it and I acknowledge that that wasn't right. Okay, I fight now, fire with fire. Now, one thing, before you say what you're going to say, Demon Mama, tell me the different things that have not been yet addressed. I'll write them down here, make sure that we cover them all. Before the conversation today ends, I want to make sure I, I just wanted to listen to your concerns. Sure. I got the I mean, suicide there was, thing. There was quite a lot. Yeah. But okay. I mean, suicide? it's been minutes of that. But yeah, the suicide one is the biggest one because um, quite honestly, um, what's that? Yeah, that's the biggest one. That's the one that matters just most. I, I barely okay. remember the other things that were brought up at this point. There was literally so much gish galloping. Like, I don't even know how to address those. But I do want to bring up the suicide okay. thing. Um, and first of all, um. Yeah, like like this is this is ridiculous. So if you're actually interested in learning, um, which I don't know, maybe you are. Maybe you're just really really bad at communicating that to people. Whatever that happens, the fact of the matter is that the suicide rate is high in the trans community because of the unfathomable amount of hate. The 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 fact that trans people cannot get treatment because of they're barred out of um they are barred out. Agree of, with that. Yes. Okay. I but understand. I'm talking right now. I get you, but I don't, but here's the thing in your actions and the way that you engage with trans people, the way that you've engaged with me, even in this conversation and talking about trans people in general is so far away from even treating them like humans. It, it's actually absurd. Like, again, you, you're just willing to jump off the thing. You literally said in this conversation, wait a minute, before, before people start getting amnesia in this conversation, you literally said for all that you care, you've just talked to a bunch of men. And to me, it's like, damn, that's literally exactly what we're talking about here. The type of hate that drives people to feel isolated. The type of hate that leads to trans people being constantly discriminated against in this country is what you have done in this conversation. And you will fly all over the place talking about this and talking about that and, and talking about how me calling you a couch warrior is the same thing as you bringing up my genitalia and also what? saying that trans people are all men for all as far as you're concerned. No, it's not I even said the ones I've talked I'm not, not done, Redneck. I'm not motherfucking done. Because this is something that actually matters to me. You're throwing shit too. And, and you're throwing shit too. I'm not throwing mark any shit. Mark that one then for me, Dylan. Mark that one for me then. What, what, mark what down? 
the one that she just said where I'm saying that all men, that all, all trans are men. You did say I that. Actually, Watch the I want I want yeah, already other written down actually. I I want to go uh, I want to go down that one is when you get done with your your sure. soliloquy. Go sure. ahead. This isn't a soliloquy. Keep in mind that you talked for about 3 minutes solid where I didn't interrupt you and every time I've attempted to address it that was it was absolutely impossible for me to respond because you would just get immediately I, I, mad and I immediately apologize. fragile. I'm, I I apologize. You're correct. Go ahead. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that mental health is a really serious issue. This is something that I've grappled with. I recognize if you, um, I don't know, like, I don't know what your angle is in here. And I don't really care, to be honest. If you talk about mental health enough, uh, uh, frequently, that's great. But guess what? Talking about mental health doesn't mean that you talk about it in a good way. And it also doesn't mean that you aren't absolutely horseshit on other issues. And when it comes to trans stuff, you're about as horseshit as it comes. In fact, you're like willfully horseshit. People have told you about this in the past and you continue to go forward as you have this entire conversation, literally bringing up the 40% meme. And the reason... With all due respect, Dylan, why I got a little mad about that is because the 40% statistic is raw hatred. It's drawn out of an age-old study. It is used to weaponize against trans people. And then the number of times... tell me the new Hold one. on a second. Tell me... Teach me then. Teach we me don't then. have updated I'm here. numbers. Fucking we don't know me. what the suicide rate okay. of just trans Mama. people is. Okay. That is a study that so, was done in so, the past. So can we agree... Oh. That forty. When I said forty percent, I wasn't saying out of hate. I was saying this fucking. Give me a second. Hi. Give me a second here. I just want to. Jesus say, Christ. Okay, so redneck, what were you referring to when you said forty percent, if not to that study? I'm. I'm I was I'm trying to curious. say that it's that my, my my the last thing that I read said that suicide rates have been as high as forty percent for. Uh, it was a. It was focused on the minority population, and I thought it was in America. I didn't think this was the Swedish one, and I was going. To, I was trying to find. I thought I thought I found it on the NIH. gov National Institute of Health. Uh, gov website and I'll, I'm still trying to find it because there's a bunch of stats I was looking through and these are some of the questions I had in, in the earlier comment about men the only the only interaction I have had on fucking twitch has been with when I say man please I am not sitting there trying to say what you identify as now I'm saying as birth identified there is five to one in the stats that I saw and five to one I've, I don't even think I've even met one female transgender to male but I've met all white white male transgender to females and so when i said all males that's what i was talking i was like how why is there why is there more white and they're fucking white like where's the minority i have not met one minority transgender yet online and i'd love to i would love to but it seems like it's a disproportionate level of white males and that's where when you, i see you when when i saw you spewing didn't your you hatred mel? yeah didn't you meet mel I, fem Mel, I met Mel, Mel was not only one Mel that night. Them. That was the first. I understand. That's the uh, first. See, this is that's the, thing. the first just, person of color I actually met. I'm telling you the, what I'm experienced. But, but do you, you realize going, that? Like, do you realize how absurd you, it is? Wait, wait. It's my turn now. Do you realize how absurd it is for you to come into this conversation and try to weaponize the fact that you haven't actually met anybody in the trans community? That you haven't met any trans men? Some. There are a whole lot in our space. I could name you a list so, if you were actually interested. So, but that's your problem. That's a problem on you. Who cares? Okay. Like, who, who fucking okay. cares that you... What, are they supposed to come and serve themselves up to you on a platter? This is the weirdest Negative. shit in the world. Okay, see, that's bu bu bullshit. When I said I come on here to, and I don't care about followers and I came to learn, do you not think that it would be nice to be able to communicate... With you That's didn't come on here to, to learn. You like, came on here to call me a cunt and a bitch to my face. What do you mean you came on here to learn? I That's so you, silly. This is so absurd. Gave, you are so I cowardly. You, Just own up to it. You. Why, why is it that you act like the victim every time you get called out for Who said bullshit? anything about me being a victim? You're the one who's been whining this entire conversation. You I've been acting, addressing you. Hey, because I have pulled the fucking receipts. You started this shit, and you just don't like it. You don't like the fact that I called you out. What do you, you mean out? I started you like this shit? I what are you talking about? Wait, what are you talking okay, about? We can we could go back through the timeline again. We can always go this back is, to the this timeline. This feels like this feels unironically like 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 gaslighting. You, it feels like what you're trying to do is like look, tell me a fantasy look, story that isn't reflecting I, reality all at I, all. I, all I you came into my chat again, and said Trump 2020 shit early on. That was the first run in I yes, ever had with you, fine, and I don't really even fine, give a shit because fine, in this conversation alone, fine. we don't even need to consider 
any of the context that happened before this. Even if I was the biggest asshole to you in the world, the way that you've carried yourself and, be, and engaged in this conversation is perfectly emblematic of the, of the absolute bigotry that I have pointed out that represents your movement. And again, guess what? Maybe I would be able to know a little more about the veteran community if I was allowed to be in the military, but the guy you openly support and don't barely ever fucking critique, you were on here cheering rah-rah for Trump 2020, all this bullshit. That guy uh, banned yes. me. Sure. So you know it why? just seems a little bit weird that you, you, know would, why? you would try and Do you know why? workshop your reputation while you not only support a hateful guy, you support hateful people in Congress. Mm. You come on here, you say hate slurs. You come on here, you mm. say trans people are all men. And then you also say, oh, well, you know, I've never seen I anybody but a white trans person. I did not say all men. You I said earlier. I can't even tell you the truth. I watch the I can't VOD. I, watch I the have VOD. a quote written down. I can review it if we need to. Yeah, watch the VOD. It was specifically. I said, the, it was, I have not met. Well, it was specifically uh, men pretending to be women. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what you said before and after, but that's the quote. I was I saying I have not met – I said I have not met anybody else but men trying to be women on these Twitch channels. I haven't seen any – of that other shit <sighs> damn and it's almost like it's almost like you. you're lying about I, wanting to learn because you want you realize you came across really bad here you realize you've come no, across as you know, nothing no, here, but no, a here. simple bigot okay. which is what you are you you just got through talking you're done and i'm gonna start now you finished the fact that every word out of my mouth you project the hate into it I have freedom what? of fucking speech what i have freedom of belief just what does freedom of speech have, have anything to, to do with this because it's that's how you're getting your fucking rights, you dumb bitch. The fuck's what? wrong with you? What are you talking about? You, I don't know what you're you, talking about at this point. If you, if you want to limit it, look. If you want to, if you want to sit here and say that Twitch and Twitter and all these words that people say is what cancels their lives and that's what defines who they are. I've then never said any of those things. What are you even you fucking? Are, I literally don't know what you're, you're talking about. That's what you're doing. Because you can't understand. No, you because don't you don't make sense. Like, you know you. that communication is a two-way street. Like, you have to say things that make sense for people to understand Okay, it. you ready? Are you ready? Let me try it again. Sure. Everything that you said about all of these things that you were spewing is just hatred and bigotry. It's because that's how you're hearing it, and that's how you want to hear it. I should be allowed to say it whether you like it or not. It doesn't make me a fucking transphobe if I say something that's transphobic to you. That's how you're identifying it. What? Is that not what that is I, nonsensical. Is that not... Wait, you're not a transphobe How? if you say How? transphobic stuff to people. That's really weird. That's like saying I'm okay. not a racist even though I use the N-word all the time. What? what? Where? Where's the... Okay, again, now here we go to the race thing. Wait, here I'm go. just I, asking. I, I Wait, I'm just pointing out a parallel. Like, this is absurd. You okay. can't even own uh, okay. up to the things that okay, you do. So let, let's, no, no, no. Let's point out a parallel. Do you believe in transracialism? Why are we going to... I'm not I'm not going to pivot to fucking transracial. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? No, so I the didn't. Fucking subject by trying to correlate the N word with some fucking transphobic Wait, words. What? Give me a fucking break, dude. Where's what are you? Books? I don't. I honestly where, listen. I'm so lost. Books? I feel like I feel like I uh, I feel like I'm trapped book? in no, a. No, you're. I can review the rules if need be. What do you mean the rule books? No, she says that like I've said so many transphobic things. I've said so many, and I'm sitting there going, the fact that we have a book of words and memes and sayings that that we all have. Everyone is oppressed, okay? Disabled veterans are oppressed. Fucking transgender folks are oppressed. Black folks are oppressed. Mexicans are oppressed. I mean, everybody has oppressions in fucking the world. In the real life, we all have to face fucking struggles. And yeah. if we start dictating that that fucking person said it, said this word, and it offends me, and so fuck him. He is this. And if I look at that person just because they have a dress on, and I go, fuck that. And I go over there and kick their ass. That's totally fucking different. Just because you say something doesn't mean you... your actions are representative of such. And you're okay. preaching, Demon Mama. Okay, let you're me just put this. Let me put this simply: the cancelization of people. The cancelization. You are Dude, canceling I don't even know. Like you are off on some other conversation that you seem to be having with somebody else. I don't. I don't give a shit. Here's the thing: if you if you sit out in public and you say things that are harmful to other people, you act on hate. Your actions, your willingness to engage in hatred, to say hateful words things. Don't excuse do me. Shit. Yes, they fucking do. If you don't no, think words, ma'am, they don't. If you don't, wait a minute. Then why are you here? If you don't believe that words do anything, then why the fuck are you here? Words are how because we communicate. I sit here, but I but nonetheless, man, we, this doesn't have to just do with words. Because guess what? Tre it does. Uh, saying saying hateful things like bringing up suicide statistics isn't just words. 
That's talking about real world phenomenon that have real world things. Yes. You're pretending. It troubles you're me. pretending it, that no, your it actions me. have no. It does not. Let's 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 dispense it, with the fakery here. Mm. You literally just a couple of minutes ago said men pretending to women. You don't fucking give a shit. You're a liar and you're a coward and you why know that. Wait a second. Why, why you wait a care? second. You know that everyone in the audience sees you exactly for who you are, for the hateful, spewing, angry, immature person that you are in this conversation. You've You're shown it in this again. conversation. Al Albeism, al al albeism, let's go. All, all, it, everything is always albeism? that. Albeism? You revert to the word. Wait, albeism? You, you just literally go, Wait, hey, what are you talking hey, about? Hey, are you guys, even here? This. Hello? Let's, let's believe, I believe he meant the word ableism. What is he talking I about, though? I didn't say that. I didn't say anything about ableism. You literally, the words, the words that you have been describing me with every fucking time Hateful? are the exact same talking points that you project at white males that are hateful you're literally saying i'm that person and you, you and i'm are that person you, yes you've shown yourself because to be i that say person. words that you don't like no because, because you add no 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 no, like. no 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 let's let's go here because not just because you say words that that i don't like because you direct words yep. at other people that people don't like we're talking with words right now i know it's hard to understand that your words can can so, communicate what you believe it, you know so, when you're so, sitting here you wait wait, wait i'm not done yet have you ever been called an asshole oh my dear god my dear God, you really. I, I, I'm just asking. You. Wait a minute. Let's like, get rid of here's the thing. Like, why I don't make know. it so hard? Do you? Do you? Why actually, make it so hard? Wait, I don't. Like, what do you mean make it so hard? You literally can't You're... have a conversation with somebody. You don't actually engage with anything that's being said. You just are literally talking to yourself. It's incredibly weird to no. me. Yeah, you said no, that me calling I, you. Do, wait, I, wait, wait. I this is why it's a joke. A this mirror. is why it's a joke because you come on here to say, "Oh, I care about this. I care about that," and then you say that it's ableist mm -hmm. of me to call you hateful. That's absurd. You don't even know what these words mean. You're just mad. Your feelings are hurt and you're mad. You're mad because women in the modern day, trans women, can argue back with you when you say horrible shit to them. And you don't like it. So that's why I've said all along, the free speech position is but, my oh, position. Oh, I want okay. to be oh, able wait, to wait, call wait, you wait, so, a stupid so idiot my, when you call so me... My... You can, and I was called a stupid idiot, and guess what? I, mean, I have you a are a stupid idiot, and I, I don't think it's just calling you that. I think you actually are a stupid idiot. Yes. So, so you and a misogynist, a and I do think you're a transphobe too. And I have the I have the receipts and, and to prove so, it. And, 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 and so, as a disabled person with a mental disorder, you think it's okay to mock my mental abilities? Did I say anything about your mental abilities? I think that, uh, I think that, listen, yeah. I strongly believe that- Yeah, that, you called me an idiot. Yeah, you are. You called me, you said I yeah, can't absolutely. have a normal conversation. No, no. See, when I talk oh, about, well, see, I here's mean, the thing. The funny thing is- We can play is, this victim wait, wait, game. Wait, wait, we this can is really playing. easy. This is really easy to talk about. Guess what? I have, it? I have mental, I have a mental illness struggles myself. I also am diagnosed with an anxiety mm -hmm. disorder, but guess what? I don't mm -hmm. use that as a shield to be bad to other people. I don't believe that you're that a mental disorder an anxiety disorder or a depression disorder or anything like that prevents you from thinking and from being a good person however what I do think is that your hate and your ego prevents you from doing that and that's why I call you an idiot because you are somebody who is intentionally stupid and hateful this has nothing to do with your mental disorder don't give me this fake bullshit this pretending no, so I'm, bad I'm faith that, baloney that you dad, don't believe in any of that I'm, I'm wait a dad. minute you call people an idiot no. all the time i could even get you on the hypocr hypocrisy thing I you do. don't believe that you don't believe that I it was do. ableist of me to call no, you an I, idiot i literally you're you're so sad i'm actually trying you are to get, such a sad you're person spewing, you're spewing. It's why actually so pathetic. So easy. Why is he so fucking aggravated? Why are you so mad? Wait, you're the one who's complaining because I why? said I think you're an idiot for coming on here and saying that all trans people are just pretending to be women. A, a verifiably hateful statement. When you advocate for things like a second civil war, when you vote for a guy who bans all of my people from the military, and then, the gonna, and then you're gonna and then you're gonna come on here and try to bullshit. you're gonna come on yes. here and try to workshop if your you could pass, excuse me, I'm not pass, done. I know you're scared of the words. I know you're scared of the words. Hour. Coward is scared of the words. Hour. You've been done for an hour. Your barbecue tip was if you think a so. long time ago. You're I mean, again, it trainers. wouldn't be much of a change for you. It wouldn't be much of a change you for really you to... Don't have it wouldn't be much of a change for you, you to retreat off into a fantasy world just like hate. you think that Donald sure. Trump still won the election. All of the other fantasy worlds you tell yourself so you don't have to confront the fact that you cause harm in this world. That you are causing harm in this world and you won't admit oh, it. If you were willing, if you had a have. spine, you would have backed out of this conversation before it started. You would have said, yes, I am Why? actually a hateful Why? worm. Yeah. Why? Yeah, because, Why would I because you would have been able to be honest and say that you regularly engage in hate. 
that you regularly no, no, engage in and encourage hate, that you back hate on a federal level, that you wish that you backed the policies that cause my people harm. But then when you come on and show your face, you have no spine to actually stand up for it. At least your a motherfucking Nazi, at least a motherfucking Nazi would have, people? excuse me, at Who least, excuse me. Who are your people? Trans people. Who are your people? Those are my people. All trans? Yep. All trans. All trans people. Okay. They're all I'm my people. Sure I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Come and on. by the way, uh, what was I going to say here? Sorry. Um, what's one? Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember where I was at with that uh, with that uh, tirade I was saying. When you get those tirades, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you get on those tirades, it's fucking fun. Yeah, oh, it's you, really you, fun. You I have a yourself. I have a great and time. Say, I, I have a great time bringing the truth and bringing the fire to people like you. People who try to hide and have no spine and pretend that you're a likable person while you actively support stuff what that would hurt hide? me and everyone I care I about. Actively Coward. On every At least a panel? Nazi would have the gall to say it to my face, unlike you <laughs> constantly backing off. Give me your fucking address after we get off this thing, and I can give you mine. Oh, we we're at the we're at the I'll fight in real life. Oh, no, 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 okay. no! I will give okay. you a big hug. hug. I'm like, okay. I'm not that guy. I mean, is this and is this threat? You're, you're, like... you're literally. Hold on, you literally called me a Nazi. You've li you've no, I, no. I actually said a Nazi would be better than you. Oldies out. I, I said a Nazi would be better than you. I would rather you're, talk to a Nazi you're than you. So beautiful. I would gladly rather talk to a Nazi than you because at least a Nazi. I wish I could sing. I wish I could sing. I so, wish I could sing in that man's voice and sing, you're beautiful, but I can't. I can't do it as good as him because you know what I just got through hearing? I got through hearing you pivot again. Did I pivot? actually acknowledging. Where did I pivot? Without actually acknowledging. Tell me the pivot. It's me and you. We're not talking about anything else. We're talking about that. You don't know. You, you don't know I because I didn't pivot. You're just no, making up know. words. Do you know what that means? Do you know what pivot means? You brought yeah, you brought up Trump. You wanted to bring in all the other shit around this to project. You support that Trump. All of course. What's wrong with that? You support a guy who banned my people from the military. You support a guy who Shoot, told you know who told why? people you how to why? target trans you women specifically. Okay. Yeah, because okay. you Do because you know you're okay with hate. That's why. No person, no ethical person would be able What's to stand by and reason? say that. What That's the, why. Because you are a part the of the hate movement in the United States. That's what it is. Donald Trump represents the most hateful part of America. And guess what? The Republicans could move on from Trump. I think there's room for a slightly less hateful right-wing movement in America, but I don't think it's going to happen because I don't think you guys can get over your hate. Just like was shown in this conversation, you couldn't even keep the lid on your feelings for this entire conversation. You went right in and just immediately started saying the hate. And that will be your downfall. And that is why the Republican Party of America, the right wing of America, will be relegated to the dustbin of history. I'm not talking. Look, look. I am not talking for the fucking Republican Party. I'm not talking for Donald Trump. I'm talking for Redneck. And I'm talking to Yeah, and you've done a shit-ass job at it, I gotta say. It says... Oh, that's your personal opinion. I'm not here to make fucking fans. I'm not here to earn capitalistic I mean, I don't money think you're here to do anything. I think so you're I here to try and save and your be... ego, and it's oh, wait, really wait, wait, pathetic. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. it let me do this. Let me do this again. Um, so, I'm going to cancel this motherfucker. I know he's not I know he's not as important, but y'all, but I got to do this. And that's the life you live. I don't try to cancel talking nobody. About? I don't block okay, anybody. Okay. I've never used okay. the word you're cancel once. Let's, let's, let's yeah. cut this for a second. Yeah, let's cut this you, you, for a second. You stream earlier. Come on, girlfriend. I saw it. Let's cut this for a second. Okay. Uh, and the reason why is because we want to make sure that everything that was brought up uh, was covered. Sure. Um, so we did cover the suicide rate. Did you want to cover that any more? There's any points that sure. been made that I have one last thing okay. I'd like to say on that. We'll, we'll we'll do that. And then there's one other thing that was brought yeah, up God that I think me. was mentioned that was specifically the military thing. Uh, and we're going to go deeper into the military thing. So let me write that down because I want to make sure everything here is addressed. Mm -hmm. uh, so you say the one more point of the racial thing. Okay, I'll write down transracial, and we'll skip to yeah. that, but we only have about 17 minutes, so we might have to speed run All some right. of this. Okay, Demon Mama, you can go into suicide thing. Sure. Um, I'm just going to put out a word right now to Dylan's audience, Redneck's audience, and anybody else who might be watching this right now. If you are a trans person, or actually if you're anybody and you're struggling with um, with suicide, it's a very serious thing, 
And uh, people like the Republican Party do not take this seriously. They undercut public funding for mental health care. They undercut your ability to get health care. If they had their way, you would be considered a liability to the health system and you would be left alone. But that is not the, vision, the world that I envision. All of you trans people out there are valid. And I will be fighting until the day that I drop dead for your rights. That's because that's what I come here for. I come here to make sure that all of you out there, all of you trans people out in the audience can feel comfortable being who you are. Even if you don't know you're trans yet, even if you're sitting in the audience and you're just going, I don't know if I'm trans. Maybe I'm just not a man. Maybe I'm not just a woman. Maybe I'm something else. Maybe I'm non-binary. I'm fighting for you and I genuinely believe in that. And I'm not enough. We need more of everyone to step up and fight against people like this, to fight against the right wing, which would gladly destroy us and leave us to die and has done so in the past. Many people don't know this, but uh, many, you know, maybe you've seen that image back in World War II of the books being burned by the children. Did you know that that was the record, Germany's record of trans and homosexual help, health in the entire country? That was the Institute for Sexual Studies. Trans history was set back 50 plus years because the Nazis targeted trans and gay people first. And I will never let that happen again if there's anything I can do about it. So that's what the message that I want to put out there to anybody out there who might be struggling with suicide during these incredibly hard times. Please keep fighting and know that you have at least one very angry ally out there on your side. I love you all very much in a non-parasocial way, and trans rights are something that I believe in to the end, truly. So I just wanted to say that. Okay. Uh, next, we have, for topics, we have military and transracial. They're the two last things we're going to cover before we wrap this up. Uh, next is going to be the military thing, which has come up uh, multiple times. So, Dima Mama, you would bring up the fact that Trump has banned uh, trans people from serving in the United States military. Uh, I'll leave out my personal opinion there and some uh, other things I could say there, but that, you know, they, that happened. Uh, and Redneck, you wanted to give reasons for why that happened earlier. I, I, I asked her if she knew why. I'm like, I'm asking her, do you know why that the military has the issue with transgenders? Yeah, I do. What is the what is the actual legal reason Hate. they have not allowed transgenders? That's the reason. <laughs> that is the reason. And I can explain that because here's the thing. The information that no, they, uh, I, I don't I, I'm, I'm a veteran and me... I want to explain why I was no because you had you oh took the goodness. whole last topic and I let you well, go that you already had your chance to do that to be fair you used up your time before on the last topic you went on a great rant and I decided so you I wanted used to respond. up your time and I'll, it, this was the topic I brought up okay and I'm going to give my point of view of, of sure. what you're calling hate because that's all you said is just hate you said that earlier yeah, and I'm going to tell you why it's why hate. I believe it's happening yeah and you'll be wrong here's why I believe okay. it's happening. Three years ago, did the WHO not still classify transgender as gender dysphoria? No. Was that still on the books in three years ago? No, it was not. Three years ago. Yep. As of three years ago, we would have been in the DSM-5, I believe. I think we're on DSM-6. In DSM-5, being trans was no longer considered um, a, a mental health issue in and of itself. Dysphoria is the only one, and that mental health issue is easily treated by offering trans health care to those individuals. This is so, a globally so, recognized fact, which means that the— you Demon Mama, I'm not arguing or fighting with you on this. I actually okay. am trying— You think I don't fucking think you should be able to serve— um, you didn't even ask me. You're just fucking assuming. Well, I don't know. And that's my fucking problem that you don't listen. You don't ask. I, you I just do project. Ask and, I do listen. and you're not still you not don't. here. No, the fuck you don't. Because I've actually had this conversation. If I don't, I serve on voluntarily. D DSM I think one, anybody sorry. that wants to serve their country should be able to. But if you can't pass the fucking entry exam, and the entry exam includes medical, mental, and physical. That's where the sticky point gets for transgenders currently because you have to either be fully transitioned, you have to be fully transitioned prior to enlistment because it is a do not, don't, it's, it's a don't tell, don't ask, don't tell policy. And that's how you could get in if you're trans. Yes, ma'am. Check the law book. Yeah, guess what? And that is still hate. That I just is still told transgenders how to get in. Yeah, it's still it's still fueled by hate. Do you know what? Do you know what it takes? Red to, tape. Wait, wait, red me. tape. This is not red, red tape. fucking tape. This is not fucking red tape. Yes, this it is. This is a matter of hate. It, it is. You don't know. You don't even know what it means to be fully transitioned. You don't even know what these words mean. You don't know what it costs. You don't know that. Like, do you not recognize that we live in a country where transition is not covered in most states at all by insurance? Okay, that is absurd. Listen, what you are talking are, about listen, is a law that but, basically says, well, we're not technically discriminating you based on being the trans. Government, we're the, just discriminating on on to you against you versus being trans. Demon mama. Demon mama. If I could help you find 
in a way to serve your country in the military, would you do it? No. I don't want to go into the military. Why? First of all, I'm 30. And second of all, I don't want to go in the military. Why does my personal desire to go in the military matter? I've been barred. I've been barred. Why would because I ever trust? Why would I? By the way, just so you know, just for the record, I have a trans family member who was in the military, who got in, who mm -hmm. uh, who graduated mm -hmm. from the Air Force Academy with honors. And yes. uh, and 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 then was pr uh, after Trump passed his order, was removed from the military. Yep. Why? Because was he was he she transitioning while in service or no was just just so found out they talked they talked about it mentioned being trans once and then they got kicked out of the military sucks how so, that works so doesn't need, it sucks do almost to, sounds well, like it's to, a hateful policy that's designed to discriminate against trans people it, and but, people can make up but, all kinds of no, little excuses but that's what it does at the end of the day demon mama demon mama, i'm gonna be as respectful as i can when i say this and i need you to understand this is coming from someone who actually served and went through the process okay the reason i'm a service connected disabled veterans because I didn't have any of these conditions I have now pre-enlisting. So when I enlisted, they tested me for all of these things and I passed and I was awarded and I had just re-enlisted. Okay. When you are in the military, if they find any disability or deemed disability per their laws, per their current laws that they are following, it is red tape that you're hating and it happens. The military will kick out somebody that, that actually already finished basic training. Our government spent over thirty or forty thousand dollars on them and they find out they got fucking bad knees or bad ankles or their ankles aren't good enough. I mean, there's literally this I mean, I understand that your social understanding and it has been from a I mean, I'm not gonna deny that there is a fucking problem with gung ho alpha male rangers wanting a transgender person in a squad but in the military itself as a whole and to, and to say that it's out of all hate i want if if if, the, if a transgender person wants to serve in the military fine they have to pass the test that's i'm Except not they did to that. and guess what but you uh, wait, wait but, but let's bring some facts in here you you got to say your part and now i want to bring the mental in some facts. thing that y'all still have it's, your problem with though that y'all have it's not the mental it's thing a problem because with that. guess what you got to fix guess that what? they the, have to wait, fix them. listen the military the military didn't support this. Donald Trump introduced this by an executive order using his power as the commander in chief. The military did not support him. So the military didn't even agree. I understand. So what we're talking about that so, you disagree with wait, Trump. That's no, fine. it's not a but matter Trump of disagreeing with Trump. Commander in chief. Yes, he's the commander in chief. Trump and what we can acknowledge is that if the that rest of them wait, if the rest of the military doesn't even agree that it's a good policy and in fact that it costs them more to get everybody out of the military and retrain people, then what we can acknowledge is that this was built on hate. Donald Trump did this because he knows that him and his supporters do not like trans people. And that's why it happened. The rest of the military didn't agree. He cost the American taxpayers. He I cost veterans money. Why do you defend him? Fuck less about what he... Why would you defend that? Do... It's bad. Do... Okay. Hey, okay. Okay, hold on, let's... hold on, hold on, hold on. Redneck, hold on. Hold on. You... Well, let's get... pass it over to Redneck to answer the question. That's fine. Big, look, you support whoever, and I'm sure they have shit with them. Everybody has baggage. You don't have to like everything. Okay? I don't agree with him on military. There's a lot of things I don't agree with him on the military. But the one thing I do agree with him is he's done. The, he's made the VA change, which got me better health care, which I would hope would translate into better health care for everybody else. If that's Not what they're going to build this new universal health. Look, <laughs> I have... I have already been on plenty of streams where I've talked about I wish there was a way that the free market I got system mine. Fuck you. that we currently yeah, have would allow transgender doctors to actually set up their own clinics in places, sort of like a Planned Parenthood, yet strictly focusing on transgender folks, so that way they could have like truly identified help and need. But you wouldn't know that either because you never asked about that one, right? So those are things I've actually said on other streams that I'm I'm not that kind of crazy right winger that just thinks everybody's a piece of shit. I, just because I don't agree with your choices and I don't agree with the way you define sexuality and gender doesn't mean I fucking don't let you be you, right? Or I'm not I'm out here oppressing you. I'm no, not no. that guy. You're supporting the guy who does do that. That's the thing. You are. I support him for. That. It doesn't matter you, if you support you, him for other I, reasons. <laughs> Like, that's what you're it, doing. You're, look, you're supporting, not only that, negative. but you're supporting the party that continually does do this. Negative. It is the, it is the Republican negative. Party. Negative. It is only the Republican Party that has pushed forward bathroom bills. It is only the Republican Party that has pushed forward trans discrimination um, rules um, against trans people in healthcare. The Democrats do not do this, ever. So, and you support this so party. The so, yeah, and again, I don't know, you're backing it up, have. but again, I just want to remind one everyone. Of, in case no, 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 the, the biggest, the biggest problem the, we have is right now, you, you literally want to say, because I support somebody that now it's everything. 
And that's, again, the mirror. You're projecting what you want and what you feel on the whole thing. So when I when I said something that was blatantly, what do you call uh, that, that tweet that really fucking pissed everybody off? You said I called all transgenders bitches and bastards and cunts. No, that was directly related to that, but you took it because I said it I have globally. no idea what he's talking Your about. Your same thing. Not all white conservative males, and especially Republicans, believe what you're saying. But I've never said that. And they that. don't actually. I've never said that at all. It. Not even you just close. did. No, I didn't. You just I did. I said the Republican Party is the party what that pushes these things. And saying? that is a fact. That is a verifiable fact. The bathroom bills are pushed by Republicans. Trans, dis, trans, anti trans health care laws? I, and, Republicans. And, and so, Donald and Trump has bill, been the worst I president. The, wait, do you Donald Trump. Why a bathroom wait, bill wait, matters? You, you had your chance to talk and now you're not even letting me. My goodness, redneck. Listen, the, the, Donald Trump has been the worst president for trans people points. ever. Trans okay, violence okay, okay. has increased under Donald Trump. The party that you support I hates. I can give a fuck about that. It, whether you like it, whether the individual people who vote for Republicans hate trans people, I think a lot of them probably do. Not all of them, I'm sure. I'm sure there's many who don't. But guess what? The fact of the matter is that the party does. The party's actions go forward discriminating against trans people in just about every single way you can imagine. And you sit here and support that party. And when I call you on it, you don't just say, yeah, that's fucking horrible. I hate that. I fight against that. No, you just make excuses. You say, oh, it's actually the red tape that's the problem, what? not the discrimination. I just said I don't agree with it. Oh, no. In the military, you ha you didn't listen. I did listen. I you promise you. I listened very I well. Said, if... If a transgender person can pass the test to get in, including the physical, the mental, and the and the and the physical, mental, psychological. But I already said they did that. They did that and they got the kicked out. They did that and got kicked out. Sucks. No, Sucks. But were, you're, the facts don't align with your were, feelings they, on this. They, they, what if I put a, What if I made a test? Out, what they, if we made the test and the test just said one of the questions on the test was, "Are you trans? Yes, no." And then you had to say you had to lie or you had to say yes, and then you would get kicked out. Oh, well, just the as long as they can pass the test. A, as long as they can pass had, the test, am I right? The military had on, a don't ask, don't tell policy. The facts are... No, are, don't I'd ask, like don't tell got repealed like fucking 10 years ago, didn't it? transgender was already... Didn't DADT hey, get, get repealed? What I'm saying is it was still the... It old, was repealed, yes. Yeah, so that's not even... Your arguments don't even make sense. You don't even know what your party supports. You don't even well, know... Oh, my God, it's so frustrating. I'm not even finished. I didn't well, even get to fucking finish the argument. I would like to hear Redneck finish what he was saying about don't ask, don't tell. What I'm saying is, when I was in, we didn't have any of these issues, right? Shortly after I got out, that they had, they passed the don't ask, don't tell policy. And I guess it lasted to y'all said like, what, 10 years ago? But the, from my understanding, that when Trump said transgenders are not allowed in the military, the ones that were yes. discharged yes. were ones that had the government transition okay, them or they transitioned while in service. Am I missing it or is that not the case? Um, I, I, don't know what you're getting at. I know you don't know what I'm no. getting at, so that's why I'm asking you a question because you brought up sad, saying that transgenders were kicked out and refused yeah, they to be were. in service. They were kicked out. The yeah. people that were discharged, okay, why were they kicked out? Because the trans did they have transition the while in service or? Wait, wait, that's ridiculous. If you pass the test, if you pass the test and then they change it and they say, oh, you actually have to have been fully transitioned, a process that actually costs an incredible amount of money because again, you don't know anything about transition. That is not even a fair standard. And even if it was, it would still be wrong. I'm even if they wait, for, wait, even I'm if they were consistent, it would still be wrong. To tell me, I want you to give me the proof of who got discharged and why. Like how many <laughs> You want me to get access to like classified already? information? Sure. Okay. No, we know what happened. Trans That's people were kicked classified. out of the military. That's not classified. If you were openly, wait, 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 if they knew I... you were trans, you would be kicked out. That's what happened. What I'm trying, the point I'm trying to get to is that the military was not going to pay for anyone to have transitions because yes, it's so fucking expensive. Yeah. So what they and, did is wait, this is, this was... is, this is like the Southern strategy. So what they did is instead of well, saying trans people are banned out, well, trans well, people who gotta... aren't, we're not going to cover you. But trans people who aren't fully transitioned are out of the military, which means it's a functional trans okay. ban. We won't help you transition, Dylan, and we're going to kick you out. Yeah, I, I, Dylan, I, I gotta bring up the fact my that. position. My position. Okay, here's my yeah. Here's my position. If you're trans and you want to serve your country, I have no fucking problem with it, as long as you can pass the test and the current legal red tape that they have to be able to enter the military. Well, the current legal Done. red tape is based so, on is based what? on hate, and guess what? Trans people can't be in the military. That's what it ends Change up being. Okay, okay. Change the laws. So, Change the laws. Then minutes, fuck. Yeah, your guy changed have, those laws. We have two. We have two minutes to address this last thing that one was going to get addressed, which was trans racialism. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so did you still want to talk about that redneck? Yes. Okay. Yes, because I mean, um, I every time I have been on a panel and get slammed, race gets thrown into it. Okay. And when they throw in race, I go, well, that's kind of interesting because I actually would like to ask a transgender person. I've asked every one of them that have been willing to answer this question. If you go with the an understanding that your body, mm -hmm. as you're born with, is not how you identify. It's just the science of it. And the way that you identify is a social construct. Mm -hmm. Then do you believe transracial is the same? The same? No. I don't know. Maybe you well, should ask. Have you considered asking like a trans, race, tra somebody who claims to be transracial? Like I don't know why are you I asking ask, me this. I, I ask only everybody. like I know about trans issues because 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 well no because I mean it helps me understand the actual way that you want to help me. It helps me understand because I'm applying. Wait, are you trans asking like for me to explain to help me understand transgender? transgender? Like like you you want me to explain like the concept no no of being no I'm asking you. Do you believe that? Do you believe? Or if I identify as black, are you okay with that? I don't. I don't even would that, know how would that to be respond. Okay? Like, sure, I guess. Like, if you really want to, go for it. Like, people, th this is a discussion that's so, like, like discussions of the social construct of race happen all the time. I just can't believe you're actually. Like, I don't think you're actually sure. engaging in true faith, in, in good faith. Like, the fact of the matter is, people have discussed. Why, wait, why wait, would you? Hold on a why would you? Hold why would second. you not? Wait, hold on a second. Why would you not? Well, if you would let me finish. No, 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 no. Quantify that fucking statement. Why would wait, you not? Why do I think you're not asking in good faith? Because I don't think you actually. Yeah. Wait, because I don't think you actually care about whether people can be transracial or not, or what the social structure of race actually is. In fact, if you were to look into it at you're, all, you're projecting. I mean, maybe. Race is a social construct. Yes, it is. Race absolutely. is a social construct. It is absolutely a social Just construct. Just like gender. Right? Um, Just like not gender. exactly. It doesn't function exactly the same way, but yes, it is a social so construct. Many things are social constructs, but race is a... Wait, but this is what I'm talking about. There are people who've talked about this. In fact, I had a great conversation with uh, Joe Lewis the other day about um, how racial identity is impressed upon people, whether they believe it or not. Great example of this. Um, great example of this is, for example, um, Barack Obama. Barack Obama is half black and half white, and yet he's black. Everybody calls him black. He's identified as black, whether or not that's what he identifies as. That's what people put on him. So race does have elements of this, but transracialism is a totally different concept. And I don't actually know. I don't know. Maybe there are transracial people out there, but you should probably talk to them for that sort of thing and not me. But what I am going to say is that I, again, you I don't think I'm using, I'm well, using, I see what you're trying you to do. Transgender. What I think you're trying to do is you're trying to, um, does you're it trying not apply? To, you're, you're sort of, what it sounds like you're trying to do is you're trying to get like, like a gotcha. Like should a white no, person be able to say, no, it's not yeah, a gotcha. well, wait, 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 no, I'm not done. My God, you have to let me wait, talk. I will say a good person to talk to about this. I think Joe Lewis thinks it's an interesting discussion to have. Yeah, so that's what I brought up. That that's what I said. Because I'm the one that brought it up with those guys. I'm the one that talked about this. I don't those think guys pre I don't, this bullshit. I wasn't on that conversation with you. I was talking about a different conversation that I had with Joe Lewis. I know you there. wasn't. Well, okay. Um, right. I've, but I've yeah, had this, when it comes I've had to trans issues around Joe Lewis the, as well. The fact of the matter is um, with trans issues, gender is a social construct. Whether we like it, whether you like it, whether you feel it should be that way or not, gender is a social construct. People are. And so is race. Yes, it is, but they are different types of social construct, and just because they're even the same doesn't mean that the applications are the same. I can't speak to what. Why not? Wait, because... that's what I'm asking. That's why. What, I'm what do you mean? Why not? They're totally different concepts. Race and gender are two different social constructs. Different social constructs they're have still different social functions. constructs. That so, if you want, so that's thank you, thank you. Then why is it wrong for people not to believe that your social construct is different than theirs? If you can't even accept and sit here and tell me, well, wait a second, if my social construct is this and that's a different, but that's a completely different social construct. So it's not, it doesn't have any validness to it. We, yet it uses the exact same application that you use to identify yourself as transgender. What? I don't know what you're saying. Um, what? I'm really. What do you mean? I don't know what to say. Do I, I have to say it even simpler? Okay. I mean, yeah, if you can, Again, cause that was your body, just... your body you're born with, right? Okay. Your body you're born with. Sure. We can't change it. That's our science. Well, that's not true though. Right, but that's not true. What? That's not true at all. Hang on, you're you were born with something. I was born with something. Everybody's born with a, an anatomy item. For a trans, from a transgender perspective, you're born a certain way, well, but wait, you, see, uh, here, you don't identify the way that the society trying to use a fucking simple, almost like rudimentary fucking conversation with you, just so I can say, hey, if I use this same logic to identify as transgender, doesn't that apply? to race.
doesn't apply to any other social construct. I really am trying to figure this out. And that's a question wait, that you guys all dodge wait, and then claim no, and say no, it comes no, from a fucking no dodge. random I've, world. Wait, I've literally talked about, I've literally addressed your question head on and you keep trying to say like I've dodged it, but I literally haven't. And also your understanding of gender is not complete, which I would be certainly welcome on another time for us to like have a discussion about gender. If you actually want to learn about gender, I think I could do a pretty good job explaining it to you. But the way that you described it, it doesn't even make sense. We're not born with a gender. We are assigned a gender and we're not even really like our current understanding of sex is much more complicated than just x x x y we have a very we have a much more complicated understanding of sex these days um but gender is a it, gender being a social construct has certain implications which i don't know what the the race like the discussion around race is very different and again i'm not transracial so i'm sure there's some people who'd be willing to discuss with you about that but i don't see how it has anything to do with what we're talking about here if you were to if you because were to ask the, me right now if you, wait, 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 wait i'm not done i'm not say... done i'm not done if you were to ask me right now to refer to you with they them pronouns, I would respect you. If you were if you asked me not to refer to you as a man anymore and to refer to you as a woman, I would do I would respect you because that is your right. Because gender being a social construct is something that we in a in a society that is better and happier, al we allow one another to identify that way because it can help us. Gender is a social construct. It's designed to help us. And unfortunately, in our current paradigm, it doesn't help us. It actually hurts us most of the time. Um, and that's the discussion that's at hand. And so I don't really know what you're trying to get at with this. Like, what it sounds like is it, and I'm not, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong here, but it sounds like you're trying to do like the, the Ben Shapiro, like, gotcha. Like, oh, well, if I could say I'm a woman, well, then why can't I oh. say I'm an egg or something like that? And it's just like, I don't know, it's like an attack helicopter kind of joke or something. I don't really get it. The question is, though, I, I've addressed it that, straight but, on. But you're fighting you're fighting you're fighting you are the ultra ultra minority in the in today's society correct am i in what way i thought that was gamers what? yeah who, I, i'm I? saying in, in the, the 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 trans your tr your people you said my people yeah yeah trans people you guys yeah. are the ultra 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 minority i wouldn't in say ultra society. ultra ultra maybe Percentage maybe wise. maybe ultra yeah i would say an ultra maybe not triple ultra but yeah an ultra at least yeah you understand what I'm saying? Sure. It's a very small uh -huh. number in mm -hmm. the global picture. Sure. So when you are fighting that large of a societal norm, what societal established norm am I fighting? over years and years? What societal norm? Man, woman, family, picket fence. You know that societal norm that you know that's there's society, supposed to that's be a, a man and a norm, woman, the fact and that's that, all there is. But that's what I'm saying, though. That is that is a made that, up. That's, wait, wait, that's a made but, up societal norm. That's not actually the societal norm. I, Most people never arguing, live that life. So, like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that's not what people live. And in fact, these gender can, see. Can you can you just slow down? See, that's what I'm saying. I can't even make this simple. It's just a simple conversation where you don't start projecting larger things into it. And I'm well, just trying projecting? to keep it real simple. You're trying so to that say way, that the normal just, please. Thing... Oh, my. Oh, my God. Please, please. Sure. Go ahead. Please. Go ahead and, and spin whatever when fantasy you're, you want. When, when you're a minority in any aspect, there's always that boot that's going to be stepping down on you. Right? So you're saying that you you face a tremendous amount of trauma personally physically, socially, because society itself does not accept transgender people. You are one of the highest uh, risk or at risk uh, categories of, of our society that has afflictions. Yeah. Is that a fair statement? I mean, it depends on what you mean by afflictions, but yeah. I mean, if you mean like that, there's like, Affic uh, like, like people, PTSD uh, uh, and, and, think, and abuse and yeah, of course, sure. all the traumas and shit. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, we're on the same page. Sure. We're on the same page. When you when you when you are continually lashing out trying to change that bigger population and you're telling them that they aren't they don't understand because they're not looking at this the same way that you look at it. Yet their societal norm is no different than you know, when you apply when you apply this logic, you say I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know I don't know what gender really is. I need to learn. Well, then what are you telling the other percentage of the population that they don't understand? Oh, well, that's that same really, thing. I can answer that question. Right? Um, it's really easy. That same thing, no, right? No, I'm telling that to you because you are the boot. 
the p other people i have conversations <laughs> i have conversations with people wait a second i know you're gonna laugh at that because it's like unfathomable to you that you could be a a, a, a bumbling i'm the fool. only one that's that dense because, I'm yeah the only you one are that you're not the, the only one but thank you're you. one of them yeah thank it's true you. there's thank tons you. of people there's wait wait hold on let me let me talk about this there's tons of people who come into my back, chat back to that can i can i actually love, talk right? or no because I know you're afraid of if what I'm about to say. You, you, know I, you know what's going to happen. I was totally... You know what's going to happen. All I'm just saying is, Demon Mama... You know what's coming, don't you? I was literally you? just being... I was you just, know what's no, coming, I don't. don't you? Here's what's coming. No, I don't. Let me, let me help you. If you let me talk, I can actually guide you there. People come into my chat and ask about gender all the time. And I explain them to them. In fact, my audience is full of people who I've personally talked to about gender and they've gained from. But the difference is that they're not a part of the boot stepping down on me. You and the people you support are. There are tons of people out there who may not know everything about gender, but who approach it with respect, who approach it with sincerity, who approach it with compassion, which you do not do. You have not done that in this conversation. You have never done that in any conversation I've ever seen you in. In fact, the way that you tend to go about things is like a bumbling, angry, buffoonish sort of like, uh, like that sort of thing. You go in, you say stupid shit, you say mean shit, you get really mad, you make it all about yourself. You talk about how you're mad, how everyone's trying to steal your, your, um, your, your free speech, how you're the v biggest victim in the world. That's what you do. You're not helping yep. with, with the boot that you said the boot. And yep. I agree. There is a boot that's stepping down on trans people. We don't want to be stepped on. That's it. And what you do yep. is you put your foot in that boot and you step right down. You and all what of your allies on the what right. What size is that boot? Show me that boot, bitch. What size is it? Yeah. Is it in your ass? I mean, is you this fucking? Is this not? Horrible. Okay. Is this not exactly what, what I was talking you about? Okay. Thank, so you. We, Thank you. Thank you for that. No, on, because that's what you. We, hey, hey. You we, literally go there every time, and that's where I literally, when I tell you I'm using mirrors, you're goddamn right. I can prove we, you that your oppressions don't mean shit. You are damn. nobody special, just like everybody I else was, in the world. We're not we special. There goes that, there goes that we mirror. We are not special. We have gone 10 minutes over the time. Uh, and Well, thank um, you for letting us do it. It's okay. I, I, see. I wanted to make sure that the transracial thing was included since it was something you wanted to talk about. And I did. I want to thank both of you for coming on. And now what I'm going to do for everybody is um, wrap this up quick. I'm going to uh, let you both shout out your things, and I'll talk to the chat quick when I end stream. Um, Demon Mama, you want to shout yourself out? Absolutely. Hi. Uh, my name is, is Demon Mama. I am a political edutainer on YouTube, uh, YouTube forward slash C forward slash Demon Mama. And my website, which is the best place to find me, demonmama.com forward slash live. That's M-A-M-A, -M -A, Mama. You know, Demon Mama, come hang out. I'm going to be doing a call-in stream after this with my chat. So if you have questions about gender that are in good faith, if you even want to debate me about gender, come on over. I would be happy to talk with you. And if you're a trans person listening to this right now, just know that in a non-parasocial way, I love you and I will do whatever I can to fight for your rights, including dealing with absolutely outrageous bigots like Redneck. So, yeah. Thanks for having me on, Dylan. No problem. Redneck, you're going to shout uh, your thing out, and then I'm going to do something quick for stream. Just wait. Wait and see. I promise it's good. Redneck? Uh, I don't want anybody to think that you have to watch what you say or watch how you feel. If I sat there and did exactly what I've tried to get her to understand, then we're going to still end up here. No. You don't change people by fucking telling them when they're fucking bigots and stuff when they've never when, – when your mindset and your ideology is yours, my ideology is mine, how the fuck are we going to meet them together when yours I I, goes directly against mine if we don't start talking? No intention but we it. can't talk if everybody assumes that the other person's bad. But you are bad. you got to look further than but just you what you see bad. on this goddamn camera and what you see in tweets. Well, it's, it's you. because sometimes people are trolling. Sometimes people are it's actually so trying to troll to get a response. And that, that is how this happened tonight. Yeah. Um, I took something that she said personally. She said she didn't mean it that way. She didn't even know the meaning. And then I turned around and used something that meant very, that was very uh, derogatory to her. I was directing it directly to her. Whoops. But um, as you guys joke. will always notice on any of my streams, 
I do not misgender on purpose. I'm not that kind of person. I do have respect. You literally but said that trans sure people are men. Pushed on. And I have been on nothing but leftist panels. I'm starting to do my own thing. I'm starting to do different content. Yikes. Um, I know where my lane is. My lane isn't around Called a whole Mel bunch of fucking people yeah. because all they do is yell and shit. I like to have one-on-ones, and I like to try to slowly think through things one piv- one little point at a time. Yeah, okay. If we can't even talk at one little literally point at a time called trans people make men it tonight. stupid simple, then how are rednecks supposed to understand and help? Because apparently rednecks are the ones out there causing all these problems. I'm just trying uh, to help. Just, just to you. Peace and love. Just Name's you. Redneck. R-E-D-N-E-Q underscore T-M just on you, Twitch. Buddy. Redneck everywhere else. Okay. Now, everybody, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be rating all over 500 people to a Trans Lifeline fundraiser stream. I hope you all go Great. donate. I hope you all Let's give go. them uh, money. You all help them fundraise. You all have a blessed day. It's hosted by a good friend of mine called Sansol. You go send them support. Uh, you've all been lovely in ch- chat today. We'll rate you that all have a blessed, too. blessed weekend. God bless you all. You too. Goodbye. You all too. Well, that was very interesting.